Today we are going to do an activity entitled Every Tree for Itself. The first thing I want to talk about is what do trees need to grow? Any ideas? Yes. Sunlight and water. Sunlight and water are two things that are very important for a tree to go grow. What else? Carbon dioxide. That's a very uh, kind of uh, high power term. She said CO2, carbon dioxide. That's the gas that's in the air and that is needed as well. What else? Um, nutrients. Nutrients. Now we're going to talk about something. You have something on your desk. They're called tree cookies. You can pick it up in your hand. Everybody should have at least one tree cookie. A tree cookie tells the story of a tree. So what I want you to do right now is examine the tree cookie at your table and tell me how old that branch or tree was from looking at the tree rings. You're counting, counting the tree rings. Would you count how many? 21. He counted 21. Anybody agrees with him? Yeah. I got 13. I got 10. I got 13. I got 10. I got 10. Yeah, I got 21. And wait for a second. I'm hearing different things. That's a very important point. Are all trees the same size? No. no. I got nine. So therefore, if I look at you, are, are all of you all the same age? No. no. If you are at 10 and you did a tree cookie of your life, it's going to have 10 rings because you're 10 years old. So at this point, what I want you to do, I'm going to pass you some plates, and you're going to make a tree cookie of your life. How old are you? 11. 11, so therefore, you're going to have how many rings? 11. So what I'm going to do is pass you a sheet of paper. You are going to make a tree graph of your life. If you have grown a lot in recent years, that should be a bigger tree ring. If you are growing the same amount every year, that should be like 13 of the same tree ring. So I'm going to pass out some paper. All right, the next thing that we're going to look at, I need one or two volunteers to stand up and show us your tree cookie that you made, your kind of handmade paper plate tree cookie, and explain the differences in your circles. Yes, ma'am? Go ahead. Throughout the years when I was born, I was small, and then when I, when I was five, I started getting taller and taller until now. Thank you. Great job. Now, before we get to the actual activity where you get a chance to move around and do some things, I want to make sure that we understand some key vocabulary that's in front of you. You have a sheet in front of you that says key vocabulary. Most of the terms we have mentioned this morning. So I need a volunteer to tell me one of the terms that is on your vocabulary sheet and give me the correct definition. Yes. Species are a group of organisms that share the same characteristics and can have offspring. And that's a very important concept there, the idea of species, because all trees don't need the same thing. Some trees need more sunlight. Some trees need less water. And that's the important concept about species in connection to this. Another definition that's on the paper that we haven't heard, growth ring. I mentioned growth ring before. Someone give me the, the definition of growth ring that I have not heard from as of yet. I'm, yes, ma'am. A layer of wood formed in a tree or other plant during a growth period. During a growth period. And are growth periods always the same or, or can they fluctuate? Nutrient. Nutrient. Someone give me the definition of nutrient. Uh, yes, sir. Nutrient means a, sub, a substance required for health and growth. And how do trees get nutrients? Do they get the nutrients from... The sun and photosynthesis, they get them from what? The, the soil. soil. The soil. And they get, it can be nitrogen through the water. The water carries the nutrients to the tree. It can be nitrogen. It could be phosphorus, a number of things, calcium, different things that are used in trees. All right, we're about to start the activity, every tree for itself. As we discussed in the classroom, everything on the floor represents something different. Somebody raise your hand, tell me what the blue represents. Blue? Water. Which is green? Nutrients. Brown? Brown. 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 Yellow. Yellow. Sunlight. Sunlight. So once again, you are standing on top of your tree cookie that you made to express your life and things that have happened in your life. Once again, your feet are the trunk, so you cannot move. You can use your branches to grab all that you can grab. When I count to three, you are going to do so. One. Two, three, grab. Stop. 
So what you're going to do now, you have a pencil and you have your clipboard. You want to pick up your clipboard chart. And what you're going to do is record what you have in your hand. If I look under round one, this is going to be round one. You are going to record for sunlight, that, that's what, what color? Yellow. So if I had seven yellows, I'm going to put what down on the sheet? Seven. Sunlight, who has the most sunlight? You have sunlight, raise your hand. How many? Six. So 10, you have 10? Anybody have more than 10 sunlights? 11. 11? All right, so we're moving on to, write that down. We're moving on to the blue. How many blues, how much water? What's the highest number? Let's move on to green. Highest number of greens? Seven. Seven. Seven greens? No. And the mystery color was brown, and brown stood for? And who had the most drops? I had two. You had two? We'll go back in the classroom to finish the wrap-up activity for this. For the last part and follow up with this activity, we are going to have you make a bar graph of what you were able to find when you were doing your grab for different nutrients and sunlight and things that help the tree. In your graphs, the first thing that you are going to graph is going to be the element that you have the least of. So if you, if you have one of something, that's going to be on the left. The thing that you have the most of is going to be to the right. This table is volunteered to go first. The speaker is? Brian. Brian's going to be the speaker. Brian, first of all, tell us your group name and, and how that name relates to the activity today. What's the group name? Cheek. The, um, our group name is, first, we were thinking about two names, the, um, green, the tree cookies, and we were thinking about Lord Greens since, tree since um, first, what we got, was almost the whole table was filled with um, the blues. So this was water. Our second was sunlight. And our third was nutrients. And for our last um, part, it was drought. Now, one quick thing. If I were to move all of this to the side, this is drought. These are all good things for this tree. Do you all think that this tree is going to be in good shape with this much water? that much sunlight, and that much nutrients? Yeah. yeah. I think so. Great job. We're going over here. Listen up. Everybody's quiet. First of all, I need to know who the speaker is. And number two, the group name. Number three, describe what is on your table. Okay. So, wait, let me Oh, I'm the speaker, and our name is wait. Nature Queens. Our name is Nature Queens. I like that, Nature Queens, yes. Okay, so we have... 12 new, um, greens, 12 yellows, um, 9 blues, and 1 brown. Now, if I compare this table to that table, yeah. in reality, we know that a drought is a shortage of water. water. A shortage of water. So, in reality, if I had this number of drought cards, I could take away some of the what? Yeah. Take away some of the blue cards because the drought's going to. But over here, they only had one drought, so I can maintain the blue. Great job. First of all, give yourself a hand. A round of applause. Yes. Since they have a lot of water, won't the tree like drown? And that's an important point. You have some trees that need more water than other trees. And some students think that you cannot overwater something. You can. Sometimes you can have something can have too much water and that can have an adverse impact on it. So that's a very good point. And that goes back to the idea of species. Certain species need more water than others. Some like, uh, well, somebody tell me a plant that starts with a C, ends with an S. Cactus. A cactus plant is an example of a, of a plant that needs very little water. You have other plants that need a whole lot of water. But once again, I thank you for the opportunity to do this activity. 
Now you know a bit more about what trees need. Hey.